Welcome back to This Guy's Ranch. If you found this video, you more than likely are asking the question, why is my clutch pedal so hurt? And we're going to answer that question today, coming up. simplicity of its operation. You have your clutch face and your pressure, pressure plate which is connected to your problem why your clutch is so hard. So let me show you. This is your release bearing. This is your slave cylinder. This is a simple jack. So when the clutch, it, and it works opposite the way you think it would, this is pressed all the way back when you're, when you don't have your foot on the, on the clutch. So when you put the, when you put your foot on the clutch, it's a simple jack. It pushes this out, which then pushes on these fingers, which then releases the pressure plate which allows the clutch which allows the clutch to slip on the pressure plate which allows you to sit, sit in neutral and when you let the clutch out it increases the clamp force and your vehicle starts moving but these are consumable items and you can see here where this release bearing is worn and it's getting sticky so your release bearing here shouldn't have that much side to side deflection on it so when you're pushing on the clutch and there's some side to side deflection it causes that to stick right and it's just sticking it's just hanging up As you can see here, when you press on the clutch pedal, it's just a simple jack, and that comes up. But it has all these fingers to press it on it, and it, there's a bearing inside here. Once them bearings get worn, it starts to get sticky because it's hanging up. Now you can see this wear on the release bearing, you're losing clutch travel right there. So when this bearing gets bad, when this bearing gets bad, it makes it hard to release the clutch. So the bad news is, Prepare yourself to put a new clutch pressure plate and release bearing in it. So unfortunately in this scenario there's no quick fixes. But the point of this video is you don't want to be chasing the problem because if you look up the search term on the internet, it'll tell you that your slave cylinder could be bad, your clutch master cylinder could be bad. So if you were thinking you needed a new clutch master cylinder, wait a tech. And the reason I made this video, I don't want you to get off on the wrong path. Because if you search this problem up on the, the web, people that don't work on this stuff all the time can lead you down the garden path. If your clutch master cylinder was gone, you would have no clutch at all. Meaning you wouldn't be able to get it here. And a symptom of this getting bad, hard shifts, you're starting your car and your car wants to roll, These are all signs that you're ready to you're ready for a clutch. And when you're buying a clutch, get the whole assembly. Make sure you get a new slave cylinder. Make sure you get a new release bearing. New pressure plate. New clutch. The most expensive part of this job is getting it in and out. 
the parts are relatively cheap, so replace everything at the same time. So thanks again for stopping by this guy's garage. If this video helped you out some, you can hit that subscribe button. It'll be right there. You can watch another video right around here. And uh, coming up, we're, we're actually uh, just finished putting a clutch in this uh, 2005 Mustang. And we'll have a video on that coming up shortly. Until the next time.